Hey YouTube, Nelson here. Today I'm going to show you how to get this animated clean background. Uh, it's six simple steps. First, we're going to head over to Nexus Mods, right? That's where the mods are at. We're going to download Clean Field, the main menu background, and then we're going to extract those. And then we're going to make copies of the original game files just to make sure we have a recovery option in case this does not work. And then we're going to overwrite some of the files. And then we have to check uh, a text document in our document settings just to make sure that's good to go. And once we have the right command, we'll be set. And then seven, we'll run the game and test it out and see how it goes. All right. So I'm going to quit it out. Let's pull up the website. All right. So Nexus mods, we're here now, right? Okay, perfect. So first you're going to want to download the clean field, this clean field mod and this menu background. These are the two mods you want to have. I've already downloaded these, so I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> As you can see here, I have the clean field and the menu background. So they're both in here already. All right. And what I like to do once they're here, I like to extract them. So I don't like to extract my stuff onto the desktop. I like to have a central location, right? So we go ahead and use the seven zip you extract the files and then you find the location that you want to use for like your staging. I like to separate my mods. So as you see here, I have clean field and then the menu backgrounds. So they're both in here. Now we're set. All right. So I'm not going to extract it again. What we will need to do is pull up the, give me a second. Okay. So as you can see here, this is my modding, my mod, uh, I guess you could call it the, the pre-staging for the mods. All right. So on the right hand side, we have our clean field. Uh, let's go with the one that was like newer and the menu backgrounds. All right. So if we click into it, we could see there's two folders under data. It's interface, which is called the main menu. And then under video, it's the logo. So this logo will just straight up skip it. Uh, we can copy and paste this one pretty quick so on the left hand side. You can see where I have my Starfield game. So my F drive under gaming Starfield slash content, you can go in here, you can go into data. And then th these are the two folders that you want to switch out. You don't have to over copy it because I have, I have other mods, so I'm not going to change this whole thing. We're just going to check into the video first, right? Since this is the simple one. So as you see here zero kilobytes, it will just straight up skip it. You can literally just copy and paste it here. I've already pasted it. I'm not going to do that again. All right. So that's for the clean one. So, all right, let's go back to the interface, the main menu. All right. So this one, we just go ahead and copy it or before you copy, if you want to make a backup data, you can, uh, there's no big deal. See, I, I made a backup just in case the file wouldn't work. So you can copy it. And then paste it. And if you want to replace it, go ahead. It's totally up to you. All right. So now that that's set, we're going to go back over here and then we're going to go to the menu backgrounds. All right. The menu backgrounds has a video main loop. All right. So we have to go to the star field on the left hand side, right? This is where our main folders are at. We go down to the main menu loop and I just made, I just put up a straight up a copy. So I just renamed it. This is the original file. And I just renamed it to copy. So you could do that and it's super simple. And you just literally just go ahead and copy it and then paste it once you change the name. All right. And now that those two are there, the next step is to go into our documents. All right. In our documents, once you go to documents, right, you have to scroll down for me since I have the game pass version. I have to go into my games. Under my games, there's Starfield. Under Starfield, there is we if you don't have it yet, or if you this is your first mod you're doing, you have to create this file, the Starfield custom dot in dot ini, right? So go ahead, open it up, and the options you want are make sure this archive line is in there. The invalidate folder files equals one, and the resource data directs final is it's gonna be blank. I'm gonna copy and paste all these links in the description. So that way it's so much easier for you guys to follow along. And so 
Once you do that, you should be set. All right, let's go ahead and minimize all this. Let's go ahead and get, let's get started with how it looks, right? So since I have a reshade, I have to do it this way. All right, start it up. Here it goes. And just a fair warning, once the game pops up, it's usually kind of pretty loud. So just anticipate that. And then, all right, the reshader, the shaders open up. Yep, shaders are building, cool. And there's the menu the little animated menu eventually like people will change this but for now this is what we get right the game hasn't released yet since we have like the quote-unquote early access but i think this looks pretty cool and it's super simple right and you just have the menu options on the left hand side like no welcome of the message like the bethesda logo i mean that's fine but i like this look maybe you do too uh, that's why you're here watching this video all right hey youtube thank you you have a great day